All right. Shalom, shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, call Halayim, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rachar Kadash. Double honors to thee, elder apostles of great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be and however you may look. Um, just jumping into this whole Gentile fiasco, you know, you're going to have Israelites, different shapes, different sizes, different backgrounds, different colors. You're going to have some Israelites that look like complete, actual heathens. But does that mean they're not Israelites? No. You know, you got a lot of you guys that are stuck on skin color. You're not spiritual at all. Um, shit, a lot of you guys have no idea what's going on. And the Old Testament clearly isn't changed in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, it says salvation is only for Israel. All right? It's going to be on Mount Zion. All right? So by default, the Gentiles being saved in the New Testament are what? Israelites, man. All right? Hey, going, even going back to Egypt, you had Israelites popping Egyptians and vice versa. All right? So, hey, Israel has always been a nation of, how, how would you say, of its men. Hey, hey, it is women, too. You know, lying with other nations, man. You know? So I'm just hop straight to it because this Gentile thing is very simple. And if you niggas can't get it, so what? We, we ain't about to slow down for you. Like, listen, you literally have Israelite foreigners waking up from all other countries under one doctrine. Did I say the name? You know, because it's not about repping GMS, but damn it, we got the doctrine. And that's the doctrine they're waking up to, man. Not none of the other fucking goofy-ass camps out here, man. But that goofy-ass doctrine. All right? So let's go into the scriptures, man. Romans eleven thirteen. I'm going to read through 17. All right? Because this goes with the, the, the wild olive branch. For I speak to you Gentiles. All right, now this is Romans. Now when you read Romans 1, it says to, uh, uh, to the Israelites scattered in, uh, in Rome, I believe. Matter of fact, let me make sure I'm correct on that. I just want to be talking out my ass like most, most niggas do. Um, Salakia. Right. This is Romans 1 to 7. To all that be in Rome, beloved of, Yah of Yahweh, all right? You, do you think Yahweh loves these heathens? No, man. All right? Called to be saints. You think these heathens, these actual heathens are called to be saints? Read Psalms 147. It tells you who the saints are, the Israelites. Grace, be, <laughs> grace to you and peace from Yahweh, our Father, and Adawan, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. The Lord ain't the father of these other nations, man. Now, he's the father of spirits, but who is his people? And who is their God? His people is Israel, all right? And our God is who? Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, through his son. Okay? Now, let's jump back into this, all right? And so much, I am an apostle of the Gentiles, sent forth, right? Now, when you read Matthews, Yahweh Shai said, go not to the way of the Gentiles, man. Now, Paul dealt with some of the apostles that dealt with the circumcision. And guess what? Some of them still help wake up who? The Gentiles, man. So you're telling me they disobeyed Yahweh Shai? No. You guys have no spiritual discernment, man. Listen, I'm not even talking about you, 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 you goofy Christians out here. Yeah, you, you guys been dead for the longest. I'm not worried about you. I ain't worried about the niggas I'm talking about now. But this is directed to you niggas that call yourself Israelites, right? And, and you believe that these Gentiles are going to make it. Or you Israelites that believe only Israelites are black. If that's the case, every fucking nation can make it for the most part. Because every nation has pigment in their skin, all right? Since I magnify my office, and by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are of my flesh, all right, of his blood, 
that are, that are Israelites, right? I put, hey, he was going to provoke them and might save of them. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what should be the receiving of them be? All right? Because guess what? When them Gentiles started to wake up, and listen, the Jews knew that they were Israelite foreigners. It made them mad, man. You know, look at these fucking heathens. All right? They ain't listening to the Lord. And you know, they totally shunned them, man. They didn't even care about that they're trying to come back into the fold. They're trying to come back and follow the laws and statutes and commandments. You how about Shemir Shai? A lot of them just didn't want to have nothing to do with them. All right? It says, But life from the dead. For if the first fruit be holy, now who's the first fruits? Is it not Israel? All right. Now, the first fruits of the first fruits. I mean, if you understand what I'm saying, is the elect. All right. But this is going to the nation because we are a holy nation, are we not? Uh, there's that Deuteronomy uh, 7 and 6. All right. And the lump is also holy. And if the root is holy, so is the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them. Now, you look up graft. How you graft in a tree? All right. It's the same branches, man. And guess what? When you graft this tree back in, it's going to grow just like the, uh, the regular vine or tree that it is. Okay? Being a wild, wild olive tree, we're grafted in among them. And with them, that partake us in the root and fatness of the olive tree. So if the root is holy, so is the branches. So this is, this is speaking of the same nation, man. Okay? And Paul called them Gentiles. But they're the same nation. I mean, like I said, a lot of you guys are just simply unspiritual, man. Now, check this out. This is Galatians 2 and 7. But counterize. And they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me. That good news, that gospel had to go into the uncircumcised. The Israelite foreigners. All right. That accepted Greek customs. Okay, and, and you know one example I like to bring up Tim Timothy's mother. She was a Jewish, all right, and uh, his father was a Greek, but by law, she was to marry who an Israelite man. She hey, she kept the laws and statutes and commandments. She didn't marry outside of her uh, her nation, all right. Difference is. Timothy's father was a hey read First Corinthians the seventh chapter. He was an unbelieving father, but the wife was believing. All right, he kept Greek customs. Okay, simple as that. But see, a lot of you guys ain't spiritual. You can't. You you don't even know how the spirit works, man. To understand some of these things, man. All right, but let me get back to this Galatian. As the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, so Peter what dealt with the Jews, the brothers already in the know. All right. And guess what? Peter also got what? A vision of what? Cornelius, Acts the 10th chapter, which is very heavy. And guess who the spirit brought that out through? The apostles of GMS, man. And nobody could deny that. That's a, that's a heavy breakdown, man. All right. Because you, 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 you dumb niggas out there, we were all Gentiles. We were all uncircumcised, especially this go around, man. You sons of bitches. This shit piss me off when you understand how simple a lot of you niggas are, man. It says, For he that walked effectually in Peter, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me towards the Gentiles. So it was the same spirit working with them. This is one body, brothers, just like it was one olive tree, man. One body. One spirit, one mind, one accord. But guess what? You had niggas of the uncircumcision. I mean, you had niggas of the circumcision that could not accept brothers coming in of the uncircumcision. And these was their own brothers. The same niggas are back today. You same niggas that call the uh, the, Latin, the Latin tribes, the Northern Kingdom tribes, uh, they're not Israelites. And you niggas going off. Now, listen, are, are there other nations as far as Edomites? Other nations mixed upon the, uh, the northern kingdom. Yes. All right. It's called captivity. We got fucked over by a lot of nations, man. All right. But on a grand scale, we are the people of Yahweh Shimei Shai, man. And you got to read the Romans 16. 
Your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. Listen, only people who have faith is Israelites. All right? Now, hey, here's a cut. Here's a mighty cut, man. Now, this is Corinthians. Paul went to Corinthians. He sent letters to Corinthians to what? To, to, to speak into the Gentiles, to build them up, so on and so forth, right? Are they Hebrews? Listen to what Paul is saying. Are they Hebrews? So am I. <laughs> Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Now, when you read Galatians, it said what? His apostleship was to the uncircumcised. But what did he just say here in Corinthians, man? Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. But you niggas don't know how to stack them up. You don't know how to go precept upon precept. This thing is a mystery. So guess what? Hey, if I gossip be here, it's here to you niggas that's lost, man. All right? Acts 15 and 22. Then please the apostles and elders with the whole church to send chosen men of their own company to Antioch with Paul. So I did, did not I say Paul, Paul dealt with a, a lot of the apostles that were of the circumcision. Barnabas, namely Judas, surnamed Barnabas, and Silas, chief men among the brethren. And they wrote letters by them after this manner. The apostles and elders and brethren send greeting unto the brethren, which were, hey, here it go, which are of the Gentiles in Antioch, in Syria, and Cilicia. So these were Hebrew Israelites living in other countries. All right? Hey, even living amongst actual other Gentiles, man. But guess what? They were Israelites, man. They just took on the customs uh, 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 of the, the fucking Greeks. Hey, did we not we take on the customs of America? Hey, we got westernized, man. All right? Hey, when we, went, when we had captivity in Babylon, we had Babylonian garments. All right? Shit, well, what you think the clothes we wear today is? When we put on pants, jeans, and shit. Hey, that, that, that's a fashion uh, 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 of America, man. The Lord gave us our fashion, which is in numbers, man. Our garments and the things we're supposed to wear, man. Okay? So guess what? Hey, in a sense, we were Hellenized, a.k.a. Americanized over here, man. All right? Romanized, however you want to put it. But you brothers understand the sense of what I'm saying. All right? We all were Gentiles at one, well, once upon a time, man. Uh, hey, dude, no, let's go, let's, let me hit you with the Old Testament, man. Isaiah 11 and 10. In that day... So a root of Jesse should stand for the ensign of the people until it to the Gentile seek. <laughs> you tell me who's seeking for Yahweh Bashim Shai right now. Was it not the Gentiles? And when I say Gentiles, I'm talking about us Israelites, man. Because <laughs> that's the ensign we're looking for, man. All right? Do we not seek our Lord? Do we not seek our Savior? All right? And his rest should be glorious. And it should come to pass in that day that the Lord should set his hand again. This is the second coming, brothers. She set his hand again. The second time to recover the remnant of his. There you go. His people. Who is his people? Israel. All right. Read Exodus 4 and 22. Okay. What shall be left from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Cush, from Elam to, uh, and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts and gather, hey, assemble the outcasts of Israel. But it called them Gentiles. In the same chapter, it called them Gentiles and then turned around and called them the outcasts of Israel. And gathered together the disperse of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Hey, us Israelites have been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Israel being the northern kingdom, Judah being the southern kingdom. We've been scattered everywhere, man. 
Okay? Hence, made us Gentiles. Jeremiah 17 and 4, we forgot our heritage. We became Gentiles. We started to cleave on to idols. We became Gentiles, man. We, be, we became uncircumcised, man. Okay? But guess what? According to Ephesians, the second chapter, it says we were all in times past Gentiles. Listen, I'm, I, hey, I just turned 29 on the, on the 13th. I woke up when I was 20. It was about approximately nine years in the truth. So guess what? When I was 19, I was a fucking Gentile. When I was 18, 17, 16, I was a Gentile. I was uncircumcised. Hey, spiritually and physically, I didn't get circumcised until I was 20, man. Until I came to the truth. Okay? Same thing hey, uh, uh, Paul did with Timothy, man. Okay? And really, circumcising yourself means nothing if you ain't circumcised in the heart. All right? Because you got to be a Jew inwardly, man. All right? The, the scriptures clearly say it means nothing if you ain't going to act according. But by faith, we do it because we want to keep the law. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to the best of our ability. All right? So hey, I pray this shed some light upon this Gentile matter. It's evident who the Gentiles is. It's evident who's cleaving into the skirt of him that's a Jew. Hey, Isaiah 14, man. All right. If you, if you guys don't get it, we don't care. This is all for edification's sakes and to build up younger brothers. This is really, this is for the elect. All right. This is for the body edifying itself. All right. That. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the old apostles of great millstone. Salutations to the elect. <laughs> to the elect. <laughs> Brethren in the elect amongst the Gentiles, man. If you will. All right? Shalom.